Hello everyone. Hi. Welcome back um, to Money Magic Mama. Yes. Um, new cycle. Hello. Here we are. Um, this is actually my last paycheck of quarter one and woo. Oh man. New ways of thinking, new ways of doing. It'd be hard, <laughs> but I'm trying to have grace with myself. Um, yeah, we are, um, I am house sitting again, and this has been an interesting cycle of money. <laughs> I'm very tired. I've been very busy. Um, I did get paid for my last house sitting gig, which was 200. And then I did get paid right when I started this house sitting gig, which was another 200. No, my insurance check has not come in, nor did my raise come <sighs> implemented in this cycle. Um, which is fine. I actually got an email from my boss on Friday when I got paid saying that it would be implemented next cycle, which is kind of perfect because that will be my first paycheck of quarter two. And we're going to be doing a lot of things differently and um, really just taking what we're learning on here <laughs> this, these last few months um, and kind of redirecting in the new quarter, which I'm going to be making a whole video dedicated to just quarter one review, review of starting a cash-based system with the binders and envelopes and all that brouhaha. Um, yeah, so that will come probably in the next week or two. Um, <laughs> this has also been a lesson of just pre-spending. I mean, come on, are you all tired of me talking about this? Because I'm tired of me talking about this. <laughs> of just spending money that I have, thinking that I'm going to get something, AKA a raise, AKA my insurance check, and then not coming. And now I have to kind of eat my words or eat my actions a little bit. Um, I have this boss growing up that always used to tell me that you never spend money that you don't have. And I feel like that man, his voice is just in my head a lot recently. Um, so today we are stuffing 485, I believe, which is a lot less than what I wanted. You're thinking, Tori, you made $400 on house sitting. How did that even happen? Well, it was my mom's birthday celebration with me, I guess. I kind of just took her out and I basically just took the cash that I got for my first house sitting gig um, and just went hog wild a little bit not really i mean we went and got apps and drinks and dessert and we went to this crystal show and i did buy actually a lot of crystals for myself <laughs> and then we went to this party celebrating the opening of a hair salon that i go to and i went and bought products because it was 20 percent off could i have lived without them of course yes do i love them yes i tried this little mask hair mask today and it, it was wonderful so you know say lobby <laughs> we're going to get through it um, one of the things that I'm noticing though, and I've talked about this before is I, mm, I save a little bit of money each check for my rent, which is $1,200. And so every paycheck, $600 comes out for rent. And I definitely pull money from that. I, you know, like, yes, I was good with all cash, but then I pulled a bunch of money for, um, buying the hair care products and, I bought tickets for a show that I'm in for my parents and my mom gave me money for it, but I just ended up spending the money because it was in my pocket. So, you know what, I'm enough that I'm going to say about all that. Um, we will just kind of review some of those in my quarter one review video. So we will get to it. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just unravel and, and, and take out some cash, so, shall we? <laughs> um, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I am, I am, I'm going through time right now. It's, it's been a lot and I'm noticing a lot of these signs though, of when it comes to an end of a cycle, like where we're at right now, I definitely feel burnt out and struggling. So yeah, so let's just pull some money, shall we? Um, ones, we got one, two, three, four, five, five, ten for fives, ten, twenty for tens, um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20. I got paid in 20s. So I got paid in 20s and then 50 and 100. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so um, actually I do have money left over in my wallet too. I have $2, so we'll add to our, um, add to our uh, dollar pocket these days. Nothing left in my TV or my gas. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited about the crystals I got. They were cool, and the the gem show that happened is kind of like a once in a once a year happening, and I just felt compelled. I felt compelled. It's all right. I don't really want to be depressed about it. <laughs> um. So starting with pockets, I'm only well. That's a lie. I'm gonna st only stuff my grocery and my gas. I am having a problem where I am just I I'm spending like a banshee which i feel like i've said that word on this channel and i actually just learned what that word meant today for the first time it's like an old screaming witch like if you see a banshee she's a she's here to scream your impending doom or whatnot anyways i've just been spending a lot of effing money and i just it's so hard to break <laughs> it's this cycle is just really really hard to uh just have discipline and I'm feeling very stressed out of like all these different avenues that I want to invest in in my life and then I I'm not giving myself enough money to play around. I don't I don't even know. But I was just this is kind of my smaller stuff that I've had in this cycle, which is silly because I've made the most money in this cycle. Um so I'm not disciplining myself, but I really just want to go on a spending halt and just really utilize what I have, which I know that I have that. So anyways, enough of my insecurity blabber. Um, for gas, we are going to stuff 40, so, which I bet you I won't even use all of this. I have a half a tank in my car right now. I'm on sales calls next week, which I get to fill my tank on that. And yeah, so there's that. And then for a grocery, I'm going to do 100, and I'm gonna use 20s. Two, three, four, five. Um, it just didn't work out right now, but I think I need to really amplify my grocery budget. I can make $100 work, but I'm finding that days like today where I'm kind of stifled for time and just my business that I'm doing, and I go and pick up food and coffee, which is fine, and I don't want to like, get mad at myself from that but if I had a little extra money on food utilize that for those times that you just need a quick meal because you need to feed yourself but I'm putting it in my fun money in my dine out money and I kind of almost want to shift that ideology that dine out is something I'm saving for and like going out to a nice restaurant with someone that I love and care about versus grabbing Qdoba on a Sunday because I have been doing training all day and I have this, this, and that, and I just don't have time to make food right now. So, that's all I'm gonna say there. Um, okay, let's start with our Get Her Done binder. Um, okay, first we're gonna do Invest. I'm super excited about this because I get to put this all in my Robinhood account this cycle, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, baby. I was looking at my returns today and I'm so happy I started buying when I did. I am at like an $83 increase of stuff. So I'm not really sure what I wanna do with all this money or what I wanna invest it in. I'm kinda of thinking like EV chargers or battery companies, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm actually gonna take this out and put it in my purse so um, I can just drop it off at the bank and then I'll throw that $100 into my Robinhood account. Um, you know what, this cycle I'm gonna be have a link below. If anyone is interested in joining an investment time, it's a really great time to do so. Um, a lot of stocks, crypto especially, is very much down in a market historically of where it has been in the last two years and um, it's just a really good time to buy. I mean, I, I feel like I get a little anxious of like, oh my gosh, I've lost my time. But even the Microsoft stock that I bought um, a little while ago that I was telling people about where I sold some of my crypto and used my holdings to buy, um, 
or my returns to buy Microsoft stock, I'm up. <laughs> you know, I've like I've made money on that. So, and that is money that came from making money at buying crypto at a very low low point. So, it's really exciting and it's really exciting to see my Robinhood kind of creep up a little bit. I'm almost at $400 investing and I well, no. I'm at 280 investing and I'm almost at $400 of just money within the bank. So, anyways, it's just really exciting and really happy to have that continue so um yeah okay nothing for health yet um yeah this just was in the cycle holiday is nothing because we have we shouldn't really have anyone um yeah anything coming up this is definitely going to change in quarter two i've got i've got ideas i've got ideas um nothing for household right now five dollar challenge is going to get five one dollar challenge is going to get three my dollar for my paycheck and then the two dollars that were remaining in my um in my wallet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve whoa whoa man okay dream home nothing i forgot i had a hundred in there though so that's kind of slick um But you know what? Okay, I'm making an executive decision because this is my life and I can do whatever I want. Dream home is definitely like my biggest goal as an adult right now is figuring out what I want for property, house, whatever. Just gaining and investing money into something but I need to start saving money. However, I don't have any savings. <laughs> I literally have nothing as an emergency savings. So, um, actually this round of the paycheck I was going to give myself a 50 for TV save and like this is me paying myself first you know how they say like you need to pay yourself first and I always like put it in my little TV pocket well this is this baby is what I want to get there the goal is to be a thousand and then I can start investing in a dream home so I'm just I'm just gonna put the hundred in there hundred in there okay TV TLC is not going to get anything right now 30 in there I am I decided to take some vacation time here the next following Friday and Monday to have a really long weekend just because I'm very burnt out and it's really affecting my mood and all that brouhaha so I might take this and just have like I don't know I don't I don't really know what I want to do with it maybe we'll get some breakfast or just have money for TBTLC time some R&R &R for myself nothing for car um, CYA, we still got that $10 in there, baby. Um, and we are not doing anything this cycle with it. We're just going to keep that 10 lingering. Yeah. So that's an all for my get her done. Excuse me. How's everyone faring? How's everyone going into the springtime? Things good? Things fine? Did anyone, um, check out the links about the Law of Dissociation? Huh? How was that? I feel like I really need to implement that in my life right now. I feel like I'm really holding on to so many things, not just money in my life, and it's causing me a lot of grief. I need to let go. Okay, $1,000 savings challenge is going to get 20 this cycle. I need to keep reminding myself like this stuff is also very impactful and powerful when I am saving. Um, you know, it is going to be a thousand dollars and whatever I choose to do with that will be very special. Whether that's put it into a savings or into my car or t tattoos, what have you. And, um, let's see, 120, 40, 50, 55, 60, 160. And I keep to kind of like help myself not be so hard on myself. <laughs> um, you know, I do take money out of my check and my bonus every pay check into my retirement account that is something you know so yeah okay mini envelope i am going to do 34 really stuff in this one this time i just it just kind of felt right and um this one's kind of a fun one when i have odd dollar amounts like hmm, where am i gonna stuff six dollars i just kind of throw it into here so do 20 five i own one, two, three, four. So let's 
How much do we have here? Wow, look at all those ones. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 5, 95, 100. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 116. The mini envelope challenge. I was so excited to look at what my new paycheck came out. I'm just like, oh, I'm shaking in my boots, everyone, because it's so exciting. Of like, what is that time? What is what is that gonna be? That amount. Honestly, I think I'm gonna push these well way outside the lines. That's okay. I think I'm gonna put these in my this one here. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, everyone. <laughs> Fun, nothing, but they did buy those concert tickets, which is exciting. Nothing for dining, nothing for dance, but let's see, that's right, 40. I need to buy knee pads for a course that I'm doing. Not the one I've been talking about. I don't know. I just, I'm going to a concert that night before, and I'm kind of almost thinking that I won't take any workshops in the last. There's one that I really want to do, so maybe I'll just do that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. We're full of a whole lot. I don't know. Sorry for the negative energy, everyone. Beauty. Okay. I am stuffing 100 here because um, I'm going to start getting my nails done by this gal um, that does like gel ac acrylic type things. Um, I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm just going to let it go. I actually really didn't need to stuff 100, but I had already made my money. <laughs> I figured out all my money before I realized this because my appointment's on the 19th, I believe, and I'll get paid on the 15th. But I figured like every paycheck, I'm gonna just start stuffing 15 here. So I'll have my nails covered as well as any kind of like leftover stuff that I want, like my eyebrows or that shampoo that I want. I have nothing for business right now, nothing for retiring style, but I'm curious because maybe, just maybe on 15. Hmm. I was thinking like on my little days off, maybe I'll get something, but I don't know. I don't think I will. Um, vacay is going to get 120. My Airbnb comes out um, the 12th, I believe. My Airbnb costs, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, so 120. So we got 130, perfect, which my, it's gonna be like 125, or 225 for the Airbnb that I, rented so that's cool that's covered in the next paycheck i will um kind of just stuff some money for play money and then maybe i'll get my bonus maybe not i don't really know um we can have some fun more fun money nothing for tattoos nothing for dirty 30 but donate is going to get five i kind of thought like maybe at once i get to 100 i will do something with this like pick some kind of charity and give a hundred. I don't know. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46. All right, friends, that was my quick and easy 45 stuffing. Um, again, not gonna be hard on myself. I did have, I do have that Airbnb charge coming forward and I committed to getting my, mail, my nails done, which I am excited about. I really want to have just like healthy, pretty nails. Um, and I think it'll be a nice kind of like self care thing for me every month. Um, and I'm committing to my thousand dollars and my mini savings challenge, which I'm not pulling for. So I've got to give myself a little grace. Um, it's hard. <laughs> uh, that's okay. To end this little video and to commensurate my little magic, let's get some magic here. I have some basil. So I have just like seen this folklore before, <coughs> excuse me, that when you want money to come back to you and you're spending it to throw basil leaves in your wallet and whatever to allow that to come back and then some. So I'm actually gonna just go a little hog wild and I'm gonna start stuffing everything with basil leaves. I'll start with my wallet and I, yeah, I don't have anything in here. So I'm going to put basil leaf in my wallet. 
I'm going to put basil leaf in my investment folder. And just kind of do all of them. Um, I am really excited to kind of revamp my binders for quarter two. Um, I have a bunch of paper and like, you see like this is coming clean. I really like this pattern, but um, I actually really like how, um, let's see which one has it. I don't know if all any of these have it the way that I want. Kind of like this, how you have a clear folder over this. It's kind of more of a bitch to make, but um, I am, I like the look of it better. And it'll be nice when I'm not making like 25 pockets and I'm just making like 10 pockets. So I'm really excited about that. And having this long weekend next weekend and I'm not house sitting other than just like regular dance on Saturday and Sundays. And I usually do pole on Fridays. I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, and I do silks on Monday. So it will be enough for me to like get out of my house. But um, yeah, I just really want to spend some crafting time, really give some energy into the revamp of this project, do that um, video of just review, which is fun. It will be a lot more how I typically have done with myself where I'm just talking in front of my camera. Oh my God, you can see my face, how exciting. Uh, yeah. Cause I just need to kind of talk things through. And again, I need to stop being so hard on myself because this really is my first couple months of starting this journey. It's a lot different than what I have been doing. Um, ooh, big one for fun. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a new thing. And I have to give myself grace with, just new ways of thinking and doing. And I think it will be interesting to kind of review what I am spending my money on. I was really good in the beginning of the quarter about keeping receipts. And um, so I have all those saved. In the last couple of months, I really haven't, though I could probably forge something and figure it out. But, you know, seeing patterns that I know, like, all right. I'm spending X on vacay. I'm spending this on that. Blah, 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 blah. It will have me help me have a better approach. Um, yeah. Boop. And then I think I talked about this. I'm going to change my Dirty 30 to an overall birthday folder. And let's do a big one for donate as well. And let's end with these folders. Boop. Boop. I'm gonna go grocery shopping tonight, which brings me peace. I was just talking to my boyfriend about this. I kind of want to do instant cart. I love grocery shopping. It brings me so much happiness and I could really use a side hustle that is on my own time. Um, yeah, I don't know how much it pays though. Does anyone have experience in that? Goodness gracious. We're still going strong on the kitty food that I've been having for like the last month and a half, which is crazy to me. I almost kind of think like someone else is feeding her. It's just, I never have been able to go hold on to cat food this long. Like she eats it, not as much as her old one, but Anyways, okay, that is it. Um, links in the comment down below. Links in the comment. Links in the description box below about how to sign up for Robinhood, and you can use my code to. I believe you get like a five dollar, five dollars worth of stocks um, instantly, and it will give me something too. <laughs> it's like a referral friend thing. Um, I'll put a nice little song down in the box below. Um, something that relates to everything that I'm talking about once I start editing and um, maybe I'll try to find some kind of article that talks about Basil's metaphysical property. So anyways, I hope everyone has a nice little cycle out there. Um, much love to you all. Thank you so much for watching and um, if you've been here from uh, whenever, I really I just really appreciate you all being on this journey with me. So we'll see you next time. Bye.